Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Hey, it's Ryan Charnock with CDH for another 5-Minute Friday. So today, it's been the rainy season here in Michigan, and one of the things we're super thankful for is these wonderful tools called a sump pump. They administrate, and they make sure to keep the bad things out and the good things in, and I'm talking about water, okay? And so my buddy was just telling me that, hey, his basement flooded this last week, and he set up even an alarm to set it up that if you, water gets in the basement, if this tool fails, he'll even get an alert. Now, I bring this up because I had a customer talk to me about OneDrive. I was like, oh, you guys should use OneDrive. It's fantastic. Back things up automatically to the cloud. It's fantastic. It keeps all the content in and all the bad content out. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't trust it. I don't know if there's any administrative tools to find out what people are sharing or who's accessing this, if people are taking the content and sharing it externally and allowing them to come in. And I was like, huh. You sure that there isn't any audit capabilities in OneDrive to make that happen? He's like, I don't know, man, but I just don't trust it. I was like, well, I'll tell you what, give me, give me a little, give me a minute. Let me go, let me go check this out for you. So here's what I found. Okay, I found that inside SharePoint, inside Office 365, there's a great security and compliance area that allows you to set up reports so you can search to find out what is every artifact that has been shared externally. And even more importantly, the anonymous would say that, you know, you have a policy, a governance policy that says, hey, we're not going to allow any anonymous access to internal content. So you can disable it, but that feature might have been on for a while. So now you can get a report to find out here's all the artifacts that are currently shared with anonymous access with links. So then you go through and systematically kill them off, right? So that is really cool. But there's a bonus item. I'll wait for the end. So here we go, let's check this out. How do you go and find all this stuff? The first thing you place you wanna to go to is right here. You wanna to go to your admin center, okay? So once inside your admin center, there's a couple ways of getting this to this. We can go right to your OneDrive, okay? This is your OneDrive admin center. It's got a great little home icon. And if you go to compliance, this is where you're gonna find a whole bunch of cool things about your OneDrive, okay? The one thing we're gonna look at here is the auditing. So when you pull up the audit, it takes you to a different admin center. So now we're into three of them, the admin, OneDrive admin, but you could also just jump right here to the security and compliance. So once you go to security compliance, you can go right here to search, okay? And we can go to audit log search. So this is the search page where you can now find what's going on inside my Office 365 tenant. And this right here is really, really kind of the thing that I, I really enjoy. So I can choose what activities I really want to look at and find what are being activity are being happening. So I got file and page activities, I got folder activities, and then right here I have sharing and access. So let's say anonymous access is the thing that's really caught your focus right now. So you can say anytime there's a, a created an anonymous link, and then over here there's another item that says someone has used an anonymous link. So not only did they create them, but somebody anonymously then consumed that all right so that's pretty cool then I go out this way and then you can set up a date range so let's say I go from March 1st till current and I'm gonna say search so it's now gonna do an active search and show me all the entries that on entries that have happened that have created an anonymous link the ones that have been read so here it shows me really quickly they were created and if I click on the link, it tells me exact URL or where that is. So I can go back into that location and I can kill off the anonymous link. Okay, I could expire it. Or this can just be a regular, just hey, audit log that I wanna find. Now, this right here is the admin. This is the sump pump. This is the thing that says, hey, I need to keep track of all the things that are going on here. Okay, and it gives this nice log to tell you, here's all the administration of what you can, what's going on. But just like my buddy, he set up a water sensor that it sends an alarm so the whole house, when water gets in, you guys can also do the same thing. You can set up a new alert policy. So when alert policy is, you give it a name, I call it ANOM, okay? I choose the type, okay? I can choose the activities. Notice it's the same two activities right here, used and created. And I can also specify it for, even narrow it down to a particular user. And then I can say, who do I wanna send this to? I want to send this over to, I want to send it to me, right there, and then I can say save, create a link, and that's going to be create what's called the alert, so that's the alarm that'll go off, anytime that this happens, it then emails you right away, 
So here you go. This is my message for today's Five Minute Friday is that not only can you guys turn on and enable external access for, for OneDrive, you can also keep a very good tabs of what is being used or not being used. So from, I want to know what's, what's going on inside my environment. And you can even set up alerts so that you can be notified if somebody sets up something that's maybe a little more hazardous than others. So thanks a lot for joining me today for another Five Minute Friday. Feel free to check us out, okay, uh, at cdh.com. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.